Commitment. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Cardone Zone, and every Thursday we do Young Hustlers. Follow up. Where my man GC and I come here and we drop some bombs. Follow through. We spit some game. See it through. On how to get your sales game, your business game, your money game. Take the in target check. in the future and grab it, bring it to you right here in 2019. So today it's everybody talking about goals and commitments and everything. So we thought we would talk today about how to make through how to how to make sure that commitments are follow through on. And it's gonna be a hard show, folks. It's gonna be a hard show, man. If you're not following up, you're not committed, you're not seeing things through, you're not grabbing your seat, you're not dude, I'm gonna punch you in the face today. Can I? Can I punch you I in the face? I give you permission. We were having a meeting this morning. I'm like, yeah. dude, we, I just started naming off people in my company. Bang, bang, and bang, dude. I need commitment. Mm -hmm. You guys, you guys, you have to confirm your seat. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to sit? Yeah. You're buying stuff. You're showing up to work. You're showing up, but you're not showing up. The most people don't understand this showing up thing, man. You got to show up, and then you got to show up. You got to make an investment, and then grab your seat. Claim your spot. Put a sword in the ground, dog. That's what we do here, man. Commitment. What does it require, Jared? Two things that every commitment requires. Time and money. No time, no money, no commitment. If you did the time, like some of you, like thousands of people bought 10X growth conference seats from us. Mm -hmm. Bought the seat and are waiting to get to Miami to confirm where they're sitting. Now, when I went to the World Series in 20 and 18, mm -hmm. and 20 and 17, mm -hmm. I bought a seat and the next thing I did was confirm where I was gonna sit. And I made sure I was sitting with ballers, rollers, players. We went to the Cleveland game. Yeah, right. G game seven. Game seven, where Indians, were our seats? Indians and Cubs, we were on third baseline. And I was in there and everybody's like, oh, these seats are great. I said, dude, I'm never coming to another World Series game if my seats aren't down there where the dam, where the members are, mm -hmm. the players, the connected. Tell them that about. Was, that was huh? a badass game. Right? Yeah. You want to tell them about the lady in front of us? Oh, Ooh. dude, this lady. So we're sitting there and, you know, in baseball, they're hitting these foul balls and foul balls are getting cracked all over the place, right? And, they uh, move it like 120 miles an hour. I mean, like uh, foul you, shot. It's just ridiculous, dangerous. And we had this gal sitting uh, two rows in front of us. As soon as we pulled in, I said, "Hey, ladies, don't try to catch anything that comes this way. Let me handle that. Don't do it. Stay away. You don't catch a ball with your mouth. Foul ball goes up in the air. Sure enough. Sure enough. Sixth inning. Bam! She tried to catch it with her mouth. Oh. Broke her jaw. Knocked her out on the pavement in front of me. Snapchat was happening at that time. I went to the snap, okay? Commitment. Folks, if you're gonna go for the ball, you have to commit. So, I'm talking to you right now. I'm telling you, man, what are you doing not finishing the cycle? It's a phone call, an appointment. You gotta go to their house. What do you have to do to see it all the way through? If you're running a team, you're a manager. Dude, show me what you did. Don't tell me what you did. Don't tell people what to do, follow up. Some people think and confuse this with micromanaging. So am I a micromanager or do I just care? Until the, the, the department or the division is running and winning, dude. Because once the department is running and winning. Momentum. Momentum. Mm -hmm. Momentum. Momentum. Okay. Momentum. Momentum. See, Jared's looking at his numbers right now. Is that your account or my account? This is your account. Sales. This isn't even the total account. What do we this do is today? Just a piece of it. Okay. How many calls today? Right. Who do you have in your pipeline? Who do you have from last year's pipeline? And then what are you doing to follow up and follow through on it? So we uh, we're talking about how to hit, how to follow through. The number one thing I think you need to do is you need to have daily targets. No doubt. Got to have daily targets. Daily, weekly, monthly, and annual. And sometimes even hourly targets, depending on what st statistic you're measuring and how, how much it's changing. And if you're by yourself, you need a coach all up in your ass saying, show me the freaking numbers. Show, show them to me, me okay? The show money. me the numbers. Do not tell me what you did. Don't tell me what you promised. Don't tell me who you prayed to. You pray to Muhammad. You can pray to Jesus. And you can pray to Buddha. Dude, show me what you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> show me what you did, dog. Don't tell me what you prayed, okay?
The winners are the people that take action. And to follow up. Yeah. And that are unreasonable. Put unreasonable. You guys, you managers out there. We got a lot of managers watching, Jay. Tons, you know that, right? Tons, yeah, for sure. Okay. If you're running T-Mobile, show me what you did. If you're running Sprint, show me. If you're running AT&T, show me. Okay, that's what we did with that Sprint program that we did. And we put, we put emphasis on people's education on how to, how to convert a lead to a second product. Mm -hmm. And follow up and follow through. Follow up and follow through so 2020 can be the biggest year you ever So number had. one, if you wrote down a bunch of commitments for, if you wrote down a bunch of commitments for 2019, the thing that you need to be looking at every day is a daily target. Okay? That's Tell number one. Know. Number one is if you want to hit your goals in 2019, you need to have daily targets and you need to measure those targets and you need to be accountable to those targets. So number one thing is you have to have daily targets. How many phone calls? How many follow-ups, how many emails, how many personal visits, how many uh, personal letters, handwritten letters sent out. Uh, how know, many responses, how many appointments? How many contracts sent out, how many yeah. demos, uh, how many, how many uh, personal you visits? never call backs. Okay. How many Facebook uh, uh, instant messages did you send out? By the way, if the instant message didn't work out, when are you going to go do the personal visit? You guys got to quit trying one thing, dude. You got to measure all these things. And again, it's going back to being unreasonable. Follow up and follow through. Otherwise, 2019 will leave you blue. Oh, blue. Dude, young hustlers, man. Young hustlers. It's not about the car you drive or the gold chain that you wear. It's about what are you going to do this year to go get, to make contact with another person. To find out what they want to need. To collect money from those people and then put that money to work and follow the money through. Or if they say no, follow up with them until they say yes. So they buy or they die. Some people think they're going to get off the hook when they die. They say, man, I'm dying, man. My grand card owner's not going to call me back. I'm coming Dude, back I'm for still you. calling you. You're going to be in purgatory. I'm going to be like, come on, boy. <laughs> Commit. Go to heaven or go to hell. Don't sit in the middle. Oh. Wee <laughs> yeah, some people call me a cowboy. Well, you know what? You can be a damn cowboy. You can do whatever the hell you want once you get your money right. I created an income producing program that'll show you exactly how to get your damn money right, boy. So you ain't just all hat and no cattle. You get your damn grind on and you get your paper long, okay? Click the link below. I'm gonna show you exactly how to be whatever you wanna be, where you wanna be that. Click it. Hey everybody, we're back, hey. Young Hustlers on the Cardone Zone, and we're talking about how to follow through on your commitment. You, no. you want to share a little back, back, backdrop thing when we were walking through the office and I asked you the big question, how much? Oh, how much I invested with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, you said, how much do you have invested in with, with follow, me? Follow up. Follow up. I said, two million. And then he goes, we need to get you to six. I said, I'm going to turn that into six, dude. Yeah. He's like, no, I need to turn it into what? What'd you say? Ten. Ten. I said, no. First, I turn it into six. We'll roll it again. Turn it into twelve. We'll roll that again. Turn it into twenty-four. You're looking at guys can be worth millions and millions and millions of dollars. I already am. Right? He can. Excuse me. Many more millions. <laughs> you got enough money to lose right now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's true. you, you guys, guys, you can get anywhere you want in your life. This is why I get so animated and so excited mm -hmm. because I came from nothing, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's always back to basics. No matter how much technology we do, it's always back to, can I get an appointment? Can I get in front of them? Can I follow up? Can I follow through? Can I persist? Is somebody going to hold me accountable? Is there a second person making a phone call? Okay. Is there somebody following up my calls? I'm the guy that owns the place. I gave him a lead before this phone mm -hmm. call and said, I need you to contact this dude because I'm not getting anywhere with yeah. him. Big shot. I said, maybe, maybe you'll do more with him than I will. Are you willing to flip a lead, follow up and follow through? I had another executive before, this, before the show today, and I'm like, dude, you got to follow up and follow through. Where you're not following up and following through is because you lack a commitment. Okay? 2019, man, it's right here. Now is the time to make the change. It's up in your face. Do you have any more mentor spots? 
Yeah. You guys want to join his mentor program? Yeah. 397. Is it 397? Yeah. 997. It's 397. 397 dollars. He's gonna coach you through February if you want to pick it up. If you want to pick it up in February, March, and add to that, it's 997. We'll add another 600 bucks. He'll carry you through this through 90 days. 21 days to take create a habit. 90 days to create a lifestyle. GrantCardone.com forward slash New Year. If you want to join the 21 program. days to create a habit. It's a four-week program. 90 days to create a lifestyle. Ooh. Do you want a habit or do you want a lifestyle? Ooh. And but, but hey, that's just for when you're in the rookie stages. Mm -hmm. Dude, I want to be, I want to be free. Immune. Immune. Above. The FU money, dog. You know what the FU money is? Oh yeah, okay, so I got to send my mom to Switzerland for some special treatment and it's $300,000 done. I want to okay. spend, I want to go to the Mediterranean for three months, and it's gonna cost me $3 million to be on a 200 foot yacht. Uh, oh, done. Yeah. Done. Uh, okay, 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 my wife wants this new car, and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm gonna freak her out with something even better than that, and it's stupid, it's ridiculous. Done. Check, 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 done. Uh, you know how you get all that bullshit? Follow up and follow through. But right now, you guys gotta pay the price, man. You young hustlers out there, you gotta pay the price right now. So number follow one, up and follow through. Number one, you gotta have a daily target. Number two, you gotta have daily reminders of, of these targets. You gotta be writing your goals you down. You gotta, you you gotta be reminded of like, dude, what am I doing every day? Not just like, hey, uh, I need to make a thousand phone calls this week, or I need to make 250 phone calls today, but like, like, why do you need to make those calls? What did you text to Anthony this morning? Show it to me on your phone. Sh show him this, zoom in on this. I'm working out this morning, and my, my trainer gets a text from Jared. Oh, yeah. Okay? Because my, the trainer wasn't with Jared today. And what Jared's doing right here is a picture of Jared on the bike. How on, many on minutes the, did you done right there? 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes, minutes, 30 minutes of cardio. I took a picture of the screen on the cardio machine. And he sent it to his freaking coach, man. Look, For Jared, accountability. This is a grown man. He's worth millions of dollars. He works. I'm up in his ass every day. Bang, 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 okay? I'm not micromanaging the guy. Maybe I am. No, not really. Maybe we're getting bit. results, yeah, dude. We're winning working. seasons. We're winning seasons. Call it whatever you want. We're winning. Follow the definition up. of yeah. a commitment. Mm -hmm. The quality or state of being dedicated to a cause or an activity. The state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity. Or an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action. Ah, obligation that restricts freedom of action. Oh my God, man, I got this event I'm going to. I have $10 million invested in Marlin Stadium and 35,000 people going there. Sounds uh, like you've got restricted freedom of action. Exactly. I have to go there. I have to be there. I have to perform at a very high level I there. Have I have an need obligation. To be... Exactly. What kind of obligation you guys got? New Year resolutions are not obligations. Goals are not obligations unless you've got somebody saying, hey, what'd you do today? How many calls? How many emails? How many personal visits? What are you doing home at six o'clock at night? Okay. Who said you can come home early? It's early in the year. It doesn't mean you come home early, man. Maybe you got to stay an extra two hours. How bad do you guys want it? Okay. Let's talk to some of our callers. Jared, what do you say, Jared? We got Dylan in Boston. Hey, Dylan. Dylan, what's up, man? Let's get some of my flags out for the callers too, okay? 10X flags. I need everybody waving a 10X flag from every freaking apartment and home in a world. Just give me the whole batch. How you doing, man? Johnny. Okay. Terrible. Dylan, what's up? Why, why are you throwing so, them at us, dude? Give, 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 it's it's too hard to do that. Thanks for having me on, guys. Dylan. Um, so, 2019, I made nine goals, three personal, three financial, three academic and professional, and a New Year's resolution. This is my first time really taking my life seriously. I got sober about a year and a half ago. I'm getting my health back in order. I'm back in school. And... Awesome. I'm ready to do this. I got a lot of energy, but I'm lacking some of the discipline to keep focused every day on the things that I'm trying to do. Do, do, do you? Ha who do you have helping you with, with, with that? I got a lot of people on my side. I got my family. I got a lot of good people in my life at my school and uh -huh. other sober people. Dude, that's awesome, man. You're lucky to have a lot of people. I am. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Most people I'm don't sure have a lot of people. Lucky. You say you got a lot of people concerns me, though. Too many? Yeah, it concerns me a little bit because there ain't a lot of people with commitment. Yeah. You got, is your mom and dad uh, one, one, those people? 
Absolutely. Which one loves you the most, your mom or your dad? I don't know if I could say that. Yeah, you can. Pick. Mom or dad, who loves you the most? Mom. Don't get any advice from her. She loves you too much, really? dude. That was the same thing with so your you, mom, too. You just, you're just so, you're perfect just the way you are. Dude, you ain't perfect the way you are. If you were perfect the way you are, you would not be setting new goals. Everybody watching this right now, listen to what I'm telling you. You would not set a New Year's resolution if you were satisfied with who you are. So nobody around you should be satisfied with who you are. That's the problem with grabbing, grabbing family members. People that, people that provide you with comfort and nurturing and safety and an environment, okay, are not the people that will take you to the next level. Mm -hmm. It has to be outside your comfort zone. You must change your friends and your environment in order to change. To change? Yeah. You got to change. Dude, you got to change, not some things. You got to change everything, my brother. Now send my dude, mm. send my little dude. He said he had a lot of people. Send him like four flags, okay? But, bro, you got to come to the 10X Growth Conference, man. You coming up to Boston? What? Huh? Yeah, I'm coming to Boston. I'm going to come to Boston. I'm going to come to All Boston. Right, but man. before I come to Boston, you're going to get your little ass, raggedy ass on a plane, and you're going to fly down to Miami in February. Because between now and March, Boston going to be cold and wet. Oof. 75 degrees where we at today, son. What, what's the temperature there, 17? <laughs> at most. <laughs> I ain't coming up to you, dog. You coming to me. Okay? February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, I expect to see your little raggedy ass ready to get a, make a change. I expect to see you at Marlin Stadium front and center. Come on, Dylan. Will you commit? All right, let's do it. What did he say? Let's do it. Dude, Natalie, let's do it. Set. Now, I'm going to follow up and follow through. Okay, Natalie, make sure that son – make sure my little nephew right there from Boston – okay, is in the 10X Road Conference. You get him a seat, get him these flags. If your parents want to come, by the way, okay, I'll tell you how you find, it, find out if your support mechanism's right. Uh -huh. See if they want to come. Yeah. I'll bet you they don't. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to get on a plane. That's why you know. Do you want people to say, push you out the door? My mom at 25 years old, told, she pushed me out the door. She said, do not, you are not welcome back in my house. You're not welcome in my business. You're not welcome in my life. Go change. To change? You got to change. change. Everything, dude. And you know what I did? I went off 30 days, man. 28 days, I changed my environment. Friends, people, everything. There was nothing familiar. Everything was not familiar. Unfamiliar. Because you had to follow through. Okay, Jared said, hey, daily targets, weekly targets, monthly targets, and have somebody follow up on those targets. Don't trust yourself, folks. Never, ever trust yourself. Don't trust yourself until you become yourself. You know, it cost about $125,000 to get a license to fly one of these. And then they're going to pay you like 40 grand a year, maybe 50 grand a year. Uh, that means the pilot has to spend the 125, and then you're only paid like 40 or 50,000 a year to fly the plane and work thousands of hours. I, on the other hand, I have no idea what these buttons mean, but I own the damn plane, okay? I always say, man, anybody can fly a Gulfstream. Not anybody can buy one, okay? But you now, you now, ladies and gentlemen, I can't promise that you'll get one for free because you're not. You got to pay the price. People are like, what that plane cost? See, you asked the wrong questions. I didn't know this. My whole life I've been asking, what does stuff cost? And somebody said to me, dude, quit worrying about what it costs. Ask a different question. What did you have to do to get it? What did you have to do to keep it? And what do you have to do to upgrade it? Wait till you see my next jet. Click the link below, I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, what you could do to get your own Gulfstream or your own yacht or your own financial freedom or you could travel around the world or maybe you just want to give millions of dollars away to charity. I've done all those and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The question is not how much something costs, the question is how did they do it? Replicate what somebody else did? Brian Secco, okay? He's the pilot, okay? Replicate what other people do. Put the system together. Click the link below. You can have anything you want and more. Even Ryan can.
Hey, we're back. We're talking about follow up and follow through on your commitments. And over the break, Grant and I were just talking about how important it is to just pound these messages in repeatedly over and over and over. Now's the time where you have to like flip into massive action mode. Now's the time where you have to flip into like, like full on assault. You know, like you, you, you need a mentor, you need a coach, you need support. And the truth is that most, most of you don't have people around you that are capable uh, or equipped to help you. Like you got to look at the people around you and you got to go, do I want what they have or more? If you want and, more and, than they have, then they are not qualified to help you. And also how much time have they had to help? Like, like you're in a spe specific condition, right? The people that are around you are responsible for that condition. It's not just you, dude. I had a drug problem when I was 25 years old. Yeah. I had money problems when I was 29 years old. Yeah. I had more money problems when I was 35. The people around me, my environment, had something to do yeah. with this condition. Until you change that condition, what you're reading, what you're learning, what you're studying, who you're surrounded, who you're going to drink with, mm -hmm. who you're hanging out with, who you're working out with, dude, now's the time. Now's the time right now. So every day, get a report. Every week, get a report. Every month, say, oh, what am I going to? What? Just hold it together for 20 days. 30, yeah. th how, many, how many days before the conference? 30, 24, 29? You hold it together, hold it together. Join, join the mentoring program. Grantcardone.com forward slash new year, four weeks. We're going to be coaching you every week on how to set your targets, set your goals, and then move closer to getting them accomplished. And then you're going to show up at GrowthCon. Yeah, like for 1400 bucks, dude, we, we'll hold you together between now and February, and then we'll have three days together, February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, to figure out, okay, what do you need to do to 10x 2019 and have this be mm -hmm. the year? Yep. Call not, it. Not, not the year where you have the big change. The best year ever. Not just another year. Okay, Natalie? Randy, Randy. Randy, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Good, brother. Good to have you on the show. What's your question? So I'm basically, I work for a real estate investment firm, so I'm calling on multifamily deals at least five hours a day, making over 100 calls an hour. And uh, I just want to see if you guys can, like, you know, fine-tune my pitch a little bit. Sure. Let's hear it. So it's basically, my name is Randy. Um, all right, I'm looking for, you know, uh, you know Jared or Grant. Uh, is, is this him? Great. Uh, my name is Randy. I'm with the Innsbruck Group real estate, real estate investment firm. Just giving a quick call regarding. Um, uh, Dude, okay. Bang, flunk, terrible, awful. Hey, this is Randy. Can you give me one minute? The reason I'm calling. Like, you need to get to this. You need to be bing, 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 very staccato-like. Like, hey, Jared, my name's Randy. Can you give me 60 seconds? Regarding? Excellent. The reason I'm calling is, boom, I do this. This is what I'd like from you. Could I get five minutes from you to come by your office? Like, you get to get very specific, dude. You should be using uh, the, the information from uh, millions Cardone, on the phone. Cardone University. Cardone University mm -hmm. and millions on the phone. Pick which one you need. Like, I need to make this phone call. I need a script. I need a pitch. I need, like, punches, punches and hooks. Right. Okay. Are you coming to the 10X Growth Conference? Uh, I want to. I'm raising No, 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 no. Are you coming? It's not about wanting to. I didn't ask you if you want to come. Do are you coming? I'm coming. Good. See, this is how this is how crystal clear, black and white you guys need to be. Stay out of the gray this year. Mm -hmm. Are you or aren't you? If you're not coming, just tell everybody I ain't coming. I made a decision not to. Good. Then what are you going to do? If you made a decision to, then pick your seat, buy it. Don't worry about the money, man. Worry about your commitment. Mm -hmm. The money will come when you commit. Commit and then promote that you're coming. Where are you sitting? Who are you going to meet while you're there? How many friends can you make before you even get to the yeah. event? We have people that, that bought tickets a year ago and say, dude, I have made more money off of buying a ticket and a seat to a conference and networking with more people. If I don't come to your conference, I already got 100 times my money. Yeah. This is the deal. This is That's the commitment difference. right there. This you, is all the that difference creativity maker, right is here. rooted in commitment. This is the difference maker. Okay, J Jared wants to go to Greece this year. I said, dude, just find a place on the calendar, commit to it, mm -hmm. put a lot of money at it, find mm -hmm. a great hotel, get a nanny, go there, get ready. You, uh, what, 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 dude, nobody knows what's going to happen. Yeah, shit, just commit. 
The genius will follow the commitment. Where you lack creativity, you lack commitment. Wow. If you can't figure out the email, the promo campaign, the colors, the brand, the name, the call, dude, you lack commitment. Follow up and follow through like a beast. Over and over. The fortune's in the follow-up. Fortune's in the follow-up. Okay? That's where the money Best is. sales training in the world is in mm -hmm. follow-up. So you guys want the super trick? Follow up and follow through, and it starts with you. So do you need a mentor? Do you need a coach? you got to be honest with Everybody yourself. Everybody does. And the truth is, like, if you're not where you want to be and you were capable of getting there on your own, you'd be there already. Dude, you'd already be there. You'd be flying, man. You'd be flying. Let me tell you something. No matter where you get in the food chain, you will have somebody following up up your ass. Mm -hmm. The bigger you get, the more you... Elon Musk has got people up his ass right now saying, hey, dude. SEC. Uh, okay. Everybody's got a master. Everybody... Mm -hmm. Everybody's got mm -hmm. all you guys out there. I want to work for myself. No, you, you say that because you don't want to. You don't want somebody following you up and following through. This dude's going to get super rich because he doesn't mind me saying, "Hey, dude, where we at?" Mm -hmm. Any manager in this company has a problem with me coming and say, "Hey, would you?" They're weak managers. People that are weak do not like strength. Yeah. Right? Because they're like, "Oh, hey, you micromanage me." Yeah, yeah. Why, dude? Why am I micromanaging you? You know, you're not, you're not getting that job done. I'm trying to get you to that job so we can go to the next job. Let's go fly this year, right? That's why I get excited and animated. People are like, oh, my God, Cardone, Cardone. He gets all excited. Dude, I, I know you guys can do more. It's just because he's been there before. So, yeah. like, when, when, when he gets, like, super, like, excited about stuff, he's been in your shoes. He's made the commitment without knowing, really, what, what it would lead to, just knowing that it was the right thing to do. So this is a problem that most people have is when they make commitments and, and they're not fully sure where that's going to lead and they don't have everything laid out right in front of them, then they bail. Commit without knowing where the commitment's going to lead, but commit to doing the right thing to continue to move forward. And when you do that long enough over time, you get what you want. Commitment will never fail you. Like being committed in life is probably, would you agree, it's probably one of the most important things to your success? Totally, dude, but nobody teaches yeah. it. Churches don't teach it. Churches probably get the closest. I mean, the really strict religions the radical, are probably the ones. Yeah. And what do they call them? Oh, they're radical. Yeah. They're fanatics. Mm -hmm. You guys need to get a little fanatical about mm -hmm. your money. You might need to get fanatical about your freedom. You might need to get fanatical in 19, uh, 2019 about, uh, 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 dude, what, who Getting are what you? you what deserve, do you stand yeah. for? Right? You might get fanatical about the successes. Why do you have a success and not tell, every, tell, tell anybody? I was telling Greg this this morning. Yeah. We just signed up Thailand for, for our license uh, program. License program. I'm like, why hadn't you told anybody? He was all happy. Yeah. Oh, we signed up Thailand. I said, why didn't you tell anybody? I'm telling you now. When did it happen? Yesterday. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Why haven't we told anybody? Why didn't we promote it? Follow up and follow through, man. If you're the greatest in the world and you don't tell anybody, guess what? Ain't nobody gonna know. If a tree falls in the forest and nobody was there to hear it, did it really happen? And did it make a sound? <laughs> did it? No. No, because nobody followed through, man. See, if you're great at something and you don't tell anybody, you don't send an email, you don't send promotion, for all of you out there that hate how much I promote, dude, it's because you don't. You hate what you quit on. You hate what you quit on. You don't want to persist, and you don't want to follow up, and you don't want to do it because you quit on it. So you find people that do it, and you're like, oh, that's, that's ridiculous. Mayweather, he can't read, but he can fight, right? He, at least he figured out how to be good at something. The problem is the fight, the fight won't seem through the, the last 40 years of his life. He's going to have to figure out how to read and write and, and do the other things to, to be a full human being and to have freedom on a planet that requires you to read, write, and fight. <laughs> I'm done with white this year. Yeah. Trading in all my white. Yeah. Black is the new white. Ooh. Black is the new okay, let's talk to our callers. Uh, hey, I'd love to hear your comments here. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, do you like, is this right for you? Is this what you need to hear right now? Have you subscribed to the channel? Are you, you coming to 10X Growth Con? Yeah, have you gotten your seat yet? By the way, you guys gave me your money and hadn't got your damn seat. Confirm your seat, number one. Number two. Number two, grab the fast pass so you're not waiting in line. You don't want to be in a line registering a day before the event 
you want to be in the stadium networking with the players. Because mm -hmm. the players will not be standing in line. I assure you. Mm -hmm. Walking right in. I haven't met as many people at the private airport, but the people I've met what's at the private on? airport. Hey, what's going on, brother? Quality. JJ, what's up, baby? What's up, JJ? JJ Simmons, he a quality dude. Man. Yeah, he is. This hey, son bitch. I already brought my 10X ticket. I brought it last year. Me and my wife coming. Come on. Man, I can't wait to see your wife. I can't wait to see your wife. Amen, brother. Thank you. I got a question. I've been seeing you on the Instagram showing a lot of love. And you've been upgrading everybody's seat. And I'm trying to see what I got to do to get a greater seat. I spent my money last year. Talk to me. Yeah, Natalie, Natalie will help you get upgraded, dude. No, what did he, what did he buy? What, what seat did he buy? I'll upgrade him right now. I don't know. I spent like, I spent like $700. I know that. How much you spent? About $700. Oh, man, that's a shame. For two people? I agree, Jared. I completely agree. Dude, this is what I do. I this, is what I, this is what I do for you, man. This is what I do for you, JJ Simmons. You ready to go to church? What'd you say? I said, are you ready to go to church? I'm ready. We at church right now. Let's do I it, man. I tell you what I do, man. I'm gonna move you to the I'm gonna move you to the premier seats. How much are those seats? <laughs> huh? Five to five K. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move you to the I'm gonna move you to the premier seats for forty four hundred and fifty dollars. Forty four dollars. Forty four fifty. It is tax deductible. Okay, I, I don't have any more money to give you. That's fine. That's why they got Visa and MasterCard <laughs> and the American Express. Go ahead, transfer me over. Nah, <laughs> come on, man. See, 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 that's what you do. You follow up and follow through, by the way. He probably got him a black card, man. Just, But he prefers to call it an African American Express, Express card, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, man! You got the they they coming out with that blue card this year. You see the blue card? No. Blue card looks sick. Is that the new? Is that the new bad bad? I don't, I don't know. It's a blue card. Like I'm like, oh, shit. I might need some blue. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. We want to know this year. What do you need from us every Thursday? Do you need this much motivation? Do you need a kick in the ass? Do you need the truth this hard? You. Everybody needs it that hard. That's what it takes. That's why Anthony Anthony gets what he gets because he's freaking pounding on you. The trainer. They're our trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. He he freaking he fuck he beats so hard that you're just like. He told me he's like, man, you need to take a day off. I said, dude, I don't need to take a day off. We just need to do restoration on the day off. Yeah. You just need to shift the workout because the 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 second look, I'm so weak. Mm -hmm. Just so everybody understands, man, I am such a weak human being. If I take one day off, I'm gonna take a second day off. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm like, hey, I took one day off, then I'm, I'm going to do two days off. I told, I told him, don't give me one day off, dude. Don't even give me Sundays off. Sunday, God said Sunday is the Lord's day. <laughs> okay, but, but, but you know what I said? I said but, but, but that's for the Lord. That ain't for me, man. I'm weak. <laughs> I got to work Sundays too, brother. Otherwise, I won't make it to work on Monday. You got people it's taking back. Saturdays and Sunday off. Fuck, they ain't back to work till Thursday. Ching a ching a ching. You guys are stupid taking off Saturdays and Sunday, trying to trying to make a new year, a new thing, a big thing, a great thing. Shit, you doing the same bullshit you did last year. You always back, you always already back to your same bullshit of last year. I'm taking two days off. I get Wednesdays, Saturdays, Sundays, spending with the kids, going to the movie. You don't deserve any of that. To change? To change, you got to change. You gotta change. And you know what you gotta change? Everything. This year, the year of the follow. It ain't the year of the monkey. It ain't the year of the free chicken. The hoss. The dragon. The dragon. It's the, the year of follow up and follow through. That is the animal. That is your new Rambo. That's your Grant Cardone and Jared Glant. It's the, the year of the pig this year. It's the year of the pig. You know what the pig does? Pig follow up. He's like, that's the mud. Let's go get it. Get it. Okay, let's yeah, get it. Okay, because okay. okay. I don't want to be pork or bacon. Oh. We got Trey in Oklahoma. No, that's not it. That, uh, 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 Trey. Trey, Trey, Trey. What's, what's happening, happening, man? Okay. Let me, let me know if Simmons hey, buys Dylan, those tickets. I want to know. Dylan purchased. Huh? Dylan purchases tickets. Dylan purchases tickets. JJ Simmons. 
Did he purchase JJ? He's a man of little faith. JJ, JJ JJ's Simmons. JJ's doing it right now. Uh, hey, hey, don't let the devil get you. JJ, <laughs> I know he's listening. Don't let the devil get you, man. He said so, JJ. No, no, yeah. I'm talking to you now, man. What's up? What's up, Trey? Trey. Okay, what's up, Uncle G? Uncle G. Yeah, so, man. man I, am a, I am a division leader with Primerica. Oh, dude, uh, I love Primerica. I love your company, bro. You tell everybody oh, yeah. over there, I love Primerica. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, so my deal is this. I, I found out, I said, man, I need to get some more clothes going. So I need to be a, a, a tough hunk for me real quick. I started the drop shipping, and then I, I, I followed up with you. I said, man, I'm getting this real estate. So I'm in the real estate. I got drop shipping. Both of them bringing me in a minimum of 10000 Yes, I got my 10X growth ticket. Uh, you know, so I'm just trying to figure out, am I, am I doing too much or am I doing too less? So... How much money are you making in Primerica right now? Man, that's probably my less flow. I'm not even breaking it. What's your other deal? What's your main what's your main deal? My main deal it was Primerica. I, I'm a I'm a college dropout. I was playing college football, I tore my knee up and and I was going to join the military and then Primerica fell in my lap. I said, Man, you know, I always want to own my own business. Jumped in that in September. Yeah. I I do I am I am a accredited investor technically. Because I got into Bitcoin, I cashed my Bitcoin out a, a couple years uh, a couple years ago when it was popping. So <laughs> I got I got at least a million dollars in that work uh, and liquidation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sounds like a lot of stuff falls in your lap, man. <laughs> Don't go. To that sounds street. like the type of person you want might might want in Cardone Capital. Good things happen around him. Look, look. I would hey. just, I I would tell you, man. I would tell you that like you need. What Jared was talking about earlier. What's my target? The problem with the Primericas, the WFGs, um, PHPs, the PHPs, uh, any of the network marketing company is there's no accountability. The idea, the idea is not, oh, I can do what I. The idea is that you're going to work for yourself. It's just a bad idea, dude. Ain't nobody ever done anything by themselves, ever. You can't tell me one person on this planet that has done anything that anybody knows about that did it by themselves. Right. And, and then my thing with this, I do have RVPs who are on me. Like, I just, I, we got a call every morning. We, we put out our goals every morning. We, yeah. We're held to accountability and all that. So I'm holding accountability with that side. I just need to know, because I'm bringing in flow of income with my real estate and then with the, uh, with the job sh- drop shipping on Amazon. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm trying to figure out how can I make more money. I think you need to find one thing and commit to it, dude. Like, I can't surf three waves at one time. Like, I got to find a wave, pick the wave. You know? Sounds good. I, I mean, I got, I got seven or eight waves going. I'm about to hit the ninth one right now. It's going to be the biggest wave I ever hit. But, you know, I'm realizing today I finally hit the ninth wave. It's so big, but I've been preparing for it with all the other things I've been doing all this time. But I never did two things at one time. I did one thing at one time until I got that thing going until it was like, I can step away. Pumping. Okay. And then, I, and then I jump in another car and then I jump back and forth, back and forth. And then I ne- the next thing I see Jared, Jared over there racing. And I'm like, shit, I got, man, Jared, Jared's got it, man. Jared, a little rocket ship over there, man. Ah! Okay. But Jared still needs somebody all up in his, hey, dude, come on, bro. Yeah, Let's but that's to- all, you know, that's what he has to do now. Instead of getting in and pushing with me, now yeah. he just got to go. So we- which one be better, the prime narrative where, where I started with my main focus, or do I need to just get into real estate full, full time and get it going? I mean, dude, I, like, you got to follow the money. That's, that, the first thing that he would tell you is follow the money. So you got to get one flow so, so that, pumping so hard that it is indestructible. See, if I'm going to do Prime America, I'm going to go sell some, I'm going to go close a deal this morning. I'm putting somebody on a list and saying, hey, that is money today. That is a closed deal today. Like, so many of you hate this message. I know you hate the message. You hate it because it's, hey, will you do business yep. with me today? Okay, you guys at Cardone Capital, get me on a phone call. First question is going to be this. How liquid are you? If you're not liquid, I cannot help you. If you don't have money, I cannot help you. Then I need to move you to one of my other product lineups. So it's going to be very matter of fact. How liquid are you? Would you like to start a new business? So, so you got to figure out, dude, is it the real estate? Where, where's the play at for you and your family? You act like you have a million dollars. That's one of your problems right mm-hmm. there. You need to dissolve that million dollars of Bitcoin, bail out of that, 
take that, become illiquid. You need to get illiquid. Best piece of advice I can give you is not which three you need to do. You need to get rid of the Bitcoin if you still own it. Dump it, cash out, grab your million dollars, pay your taxes on it, and get illiquid. Get rid of that money. And then you will know exactly what you need to do next. Because your concern then will be, how do I pay the bills? I got to go get more money. Shit, I got to feed kids. I got little Jake little over there playing with his little nasty Tallawacky. Guy won't leave. Little Jake. I spent a little time with Jake the other day, man. Yeah. Huh? He's a cool Jake. dude, man. He's a cool dude. He liked that Christmas present I got. Oh, huh? my God, dude. It's his favorite thing, but dude. But, dude, he holds that Tallawacky a lot, just like his daddy. You know. Both of them. If Both you can't them, touch yourself, who can you touch? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's his, okay? It's his, even though it's small, <laughs> just like his daddy. <laughs> 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 and then he put his fingers in his mouth, too. Yeah. <laughs> follow up and follow through. Little Jake's like, I'm just following up. <laughs> following through. Uh, Sandy's going to get mad at me for that. No, she won't even watch. Uh, okay. Uh, Kim, Kim, what's up? I hope that helped that last hey. dude. He needs to sell that freaking crypto. You agree with that? Yeah. No, I think he already did. I think he said he, he cashed out. He needs to get rid of the money yeah. now. He needs to not be liquid. You guys, none of you guys out there need cash in the bank. Cash in the bank is your little insurance. It's your little mattress in case you don't go to work tomorrow. Because you're already planning on checking out. That's why you got cash. That's why your mom and daddy wanted to save money. That's why your mom and daddy wanted to pay their house off. Because they were planning on the checkout. Dude, when I check out, it's going to be on a damn 200-foot yacht. In the med. In the med. And I'm going to be like, for three uh, months. Say, man, I think I want to go get me a cappuccino. Hey, uh, send get the a, helicopter, send bitch. Send a chopper. Send a get the helicopter. Everybody to the chopper. Get the helicopter. Uh, 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 oh, how about we just take the Zodiac over there? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Let's take the Zodiac. Okay. okay. The okay. Tinder. Kids, kids, I'm going to be the going tinder. to get me some uh, uh, a cappuccino. Or a All right. I'll be back to the boat tonight. Right? Throw some of that crystal in the Zodiac. <laughs> and then me and my wife are having a fight. I'll be like, you go on the Zodiac, I'm going on a chopper. <laughs> Dude, that's what I want. I, I'm not interested in retiring. I'm interested in freedom, dog. Yeah. I'm interested in, in a lifestyle where you, the only reason you have money is to use it. You're like, dude, I just want to use this money. Call Natalie up. Natalie, how'd you do this month? Oh, my God, Grant, I had my best month. Good. Put her ass on a plane and fly her to the ship. Yeah. How? Because we got seven rooms we ain't using. <laughs> you guys, that, that's not dreaming too big, folks. Yeah. Everybody can do this. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you guys. This guy will get there. He's on track. Mm -hmm. He was not thinking like this eight years ago. He was kind of. But he was bleary-eyed. <laughs> And he didn't have a vehicle. He didn't have a vehicle and he didn't have anybody. But you know what? How many managers have come and gone? A few. A few, dude. All of them. All of them, by the way. Wish they were here today. Everything I said we would do, uh, we've most, exceeded. Most, most, most people that don't work here, it's because they don't want the push. But, but they the, can, They're not capable of the push. And they don't want the push. Yeah, yeah. So, so you guys got to decide who you are, man. Young hustlers, man. Okay, it's not about your age. It's about how young is your hustle every week. No matter how old you What's get. What's the let's target? Talk, let's talk. Let's What's talk. What's the target? Let's talk, man. Yeah. New targets, baby. New year. New targets. New time. Yo, What's yo. up? Yo. 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 Pleasure to be on the show. Uh, really happy to talk to you. Um, I have a question for you. I'm working with a direct mailer um, for a property. Um, it's uh, 150 plus. The problem is the property, uh, the parent, the property is owned by um, an LLC that's out of Delaware, and I'm trying to figure out a way to find the owners and contact them, and just. I just hit a dead block, and I don't know how to proceed further. I'm thinking of talking to the property managers, and maybe they will give out this information. But other than that, I'm just stuck. Mm -hmm. mm. You pick. You show up. I'm you sorry. Sh you just show up there yet? Knock on the door. I will. 
Uh, that's my plan right after the show. Yeah, I mean, you know, like you, you can't rely on one, one form of communication. Like, especially like that, depending on how big the deals are, like you need to get more and more creative with, with the different types of ways that you reach out. So, you know, somebody's not answering the phone, some, you can't find an email, you can't, like, dude, show up. I had somebody that called into the show one week and they said, hey, I'd really like to get a job at this company, but I can't get a hold of the people to get an interview. And I said, well, what's the name of the company? And they gave me the name of the company. And I said, do you know who you need to talk to to get a job there? They go, well, it's, it's the owner, it's a small company. And I said, okay, let's call them live. And I sat here and I called them right, I called the business and literally within 30 seconds, I got the name of the person who owned the company. So like, you, you just, you, you gotta have like, first of all, the commitment has to be at the right level. Cause if the commitment's at the right level, you'll do whatever it takes. Second thing is, if you're, if you're tracking deals down, you gotta make sure that like, you got more than one deal in your pipeline. Like you gotta have a big pipeline. But for these people, you just need to go up, knock on the door and figure out how far you can go. You, you gotta get in front of the deal, so. Right, yes. Social, I mean, LinkedIn, uh, email, personal visits, handwritten letters, send them gifts, may, you know. You just gotta get creative, <laughs> yeah. man. Absolutely. And you need but a- I, you, I, so, you, far, so far, I only know the name of the company. Um, I don't have any uh, contact information. I don't have any personal information about anybody who owns the company. I know the company's name here, I know the company here in Maryland, and I know the name of the company in Delaware. That's all I know. Yeah, well you need more than one company to talk to too. So a lot of you out there last year that followed, called us and followed us up, you need more than one Grant Cardone to call. You need more, more than one company to call. Never rely on one flow of anything for anything. If, you want one, if, you, if you're relying on one thing, you're not following up and you're not following through. Mm -hmm. You don't go to bat and say, I'm gonna hit the first one out of the park. Okay, it's a long season, dude. It's 163 games. So, Brady, Brady and the Patriots, they're planning for the whole season. They got their bye week 17 weeks in. They lost three games. Everybody says they're terrible. They got their bye week nine years. They got a free week. Mm -hmm. They get the rest up. They're going to prep for the world. For, for, for what's it called? The crack, Super, crack, crack. Super Bowl. Dude, you, got, you guys got to keep, you got to keep, like, you need a lot of flows out there, a lot of customers. You don't bang on one guy over and over and over again. You bang on 100 guys over and over and over again. Okay. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the one and only Jared Glant. 10X Growth Conference is 30 days away. You grabbed your seat already and did not confirm where you're sitting. I already got your money. Confirm your damn seat. Grab the best seat you can, dude. Like three or four rows difference. Three or four rows difference. Where are you sitting? So what, what's the website? 10xgrowthcon.com. 10xgrowthcon.com. No, 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 no. Matt came in here and gave us a website before we... No, it's not tickets. GrantCardone.com forward slash tickets. 10xgrowthcon.com. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash tickets. I thought... Huh? They log in there. Then you log in. Log in. And when you do the log in and get your seat 4A3C, DM me. DM me on the IG... Let me know you got your seat, please. And when you're in there, after you DM me, make sure you get your fast pass. Yeah, 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash seats. So what we're talking about, you purchased your seat, but you didn't go into the stadium and pick that. your seat. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash seats. So to register seats. your seat, go to 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash seat, because what's gonna happen is you are going to forfeit your seat if That's you right. don't select your seat. So we need you to get into the portal. If you have questions getting into the portal, call the office, send an email to chat at, chat at grantcardone.com so that we can get your seat six. If you want to upgrade, if you want to upgrade, call us, okay? If you hadn't got your seat yet, get it. This is going to be the largest. Oh, by the way, the best the best upgrade offers conference. on planet Earth are in the ticket portal. So you have to select your seat if you want to see a ridiculous upgrade offer. And once you grab your seat, make sure you get your fast pass so you're not spending your time in, in, in waiting. In the line. Don't spend no your time reason to, waiting man. in the line. Guys, this is a tax-deductible educational conference. Steve Harvey, John Maxwell, Grant Cardone, Damon, Damon John, John, Sarah Bethany Blakely, Frankel, Bethany Sarah Frankel, Blakely, Ty Lopez, Ryan Dice. Dude, it's unbelievable. Okay, I put together Jesse three Dixon. days. Promise you. 
There will be, there's never been an event that you've been to that will be better than this event. I, 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 I promise you, guarantee it, as I we say in Louisiana. I guarantee it. Guarantee this will be the single best experience of your entire lifetime. The first 10 minutes, you will get your money's worth. Come on, man. I guarantee you, it's a three-day event. The first, the first 10 minutes, you'll be like, okay, I'm all good already. Boom, okay? boom, 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 now, boom, on the fourth and fifth, for those guys that want to invest, want to learn how to invest in real estate, if you want to learn how I consistently deliver 30% returns to myself and our investors, on the 4th and 5th, I'm doing a live real estate conference. Two days, Q&A for two days. All I'm going to do is walk in a room for two days to answer every question you have about real estate. You want to bring me your deals? You want me to underwrite your deals? You want me to show you where to get debt? You, like you're going to see everything that I do in a real estate deal. You'll see that's on the 4th and 5th. That website is uh, grantcardone.com forward slash class. How about that? <laughs> GrantCardone.com forward slash class. Look, look, if you're not going to do anything different than last year, this year will not be any different. Don't kid yourself. Let's just go ahead and call a spade a spade. Get it out of the way. 2019 will not be any different. If you don't change, you don't change. This is a great way to start putting stuff on your calendar. First, second, third. 30 days from right now, 35,000 people will descend. A commitment on to the city of Miami. Restricts freedom of action. The weather will be 75 degrees every day. Mm. 35,000 people will drop into a stadium called the Marlin Stadium, one of the newest ballparks in the world. Beautiful facility. Gorgeous. Okay? We're going to spend three days talking about how you can 10x your business in 20. And let me tell you something. The Bible says where two or more gather, a miracle will happen. Did you know that, Jared? That's, that actually, when two or more, that means he is in your presence. Dude, dude when two or more, when two or more, 35,000. What happens when 35,000 people are there? Okay? I might have Joel Osteen there. He might show up. Joel, come on, man. Come on. Throw it down, baby. Okay? I might have J.K. show up. And come on. Spit. I might have Donald Trump show up. And you guys can boo, boo, boo. I might have the Mitt show up. I might have Arnold show up. Who you... I guarantee you I might have some surprises. Jesus. Mike Rashid hit me yesterday Jesus. on Instagram. Yeah. I'm coming to your conference. Oh, good. Good for him. So, dude, smart, man. Yeah. He's like, man, I'm, you know what? I'm buying my own seat. I said, man, can I? He's like, I'm going to buy the seat, man. Yeah. I want to I wanna learn. Yeah. I said, man, that's awesome, dude. So many influencers don't want to learn anymore. You got to change. You got to change. Folks, they know, you, you're not going to get so high on the food chain. You don't have to keep cha changing. You don't get you keep learning from other people. Keep getting yourself around new people in new environments. This is a great way to start the year. February 1st, 2nd, 3rd. 4th and 5th, the real estate conference. Boom. Two days, there's only 100 people in the room. Yep. Okay? That's a very, very exclusive. We're going to go from 35,000 people to 100. And you're going to go all in. He's basically going to tell you everything he knows about real estate. He's tried to and talk me out of doing this for, for three months now. Let me have somebody else do it. Let me do that. Dude, I'm going to do the damn thing. All right. All okay? right. All right. I may never do another one. <laughs> but if you guys want to know how I'm making 25, 30%, I just sold a deal that me, that he and I were in. We had a 345% return on our investment. 345% return in 42 months. Yeah. Divide 42, divide 345% by 42 months. What is that? Some stupid number. 88, 84% a year. Okay. If you want to know how I'm doing those deals, what is it? How I find those deals, how I fund those deals, how I sell those deals, how I manage those deals, how I rehab those deals, how I make sense. Come on, man. Come on, man. What did you say? What did you 345 say? 345 divided by 42 months. 82% a year. That's a real deal, man. It's documented. It's not a freak deal. That was four deals, four different deals, yep. and that's what they returned. All right? If you want to learn how to do that, it's the fourth and fifth, man. You've got to do something different this year, folks. With your money, to with your connections, to change, you got to change. With with whatever you're doing, you got to do something different. Okay, otherwise you're gonna look up and say, "Fuck, it's February and I hadn't changed anything." If it's February and nothing's changed, promise you, I can tell you how the next eleven months goes. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching today. God bless. Be great. We'll see you next time.